ಐ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಕ್ಲಿಸ್ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಜೊತೆ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮೋಹನ್ ಅವರು ಮೋಹನ್ ಅವರು ತಿರುಪತಿ ತಿರುಮಲ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೇನು ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆಗಳು ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಈ ನಡುವೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಚಾನೆಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿರ್ತೀರಾ ಅಲ್ಲಿನ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಅರ್ಚಕರು ತುಂಬಾ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ಗಳು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ವಿಷಯ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿರೋದನ್ನ ಮೋಹನ್ ಅವರು ಮೋಹನ್ ಅವರೇ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಮೋಹನ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕನ್ನಡ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರು ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ನಾನ್ ಕೊನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರ ಏನ್ ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅಂತ ನಾನ್ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಮೋಹನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ವಿತ್ ಟಿ ಟಿ ಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ತಿರುಮಲ ತಿರುಪತಿ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಟಿ ಟಿ ಡಿ ಗೇವ್ ರಿಟೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ರಿಟೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಟ್ರೋಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೈನ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಮಣ ದೀಕ್ಷಿತ್ ತುಲು ಇಸ್ ದ ಚೀಫ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆಸ್ ಟೆಮ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಡೌನ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ at the age of 65 he is 67 so he kind of don't have any time he got his position as a chief priest through his family lineage and he is the 37th descendant uh, and he learned all the vedas and agamas from his father and uh, his forefathers uh, ramana dikshitlu has a doctoral degree in microbiology from oh, sv university okay. and uh, he got admitted into post doctoral in south carolina university in from united states but he declined to go there he chose to become a chief priest uh, or the priest at the time rather than going to united states as i mentioned earlier he learned all the agamas and uh, vedas while he was studying his uh, regular education okay there are some allegations made by ramana dikshitlu on the ttd and the uh, t- uh, ttd administration policies some of the uh, swami's jewelries either they are being tampered with or they are missing and uh, some of the uh, diamonds are missing excavations that uh, were done illegally inside the uh, kitchen swami's kitchen and uh, there is no notification on that there was no inform- prior information to any of the uh, priests and uh, there is another uh, there are a lot of uh, agama shastra violations that happened inside the uh, temple and he had a huge concern on them uh, it's like uh, there are many pujas that are supposed to be performed at a certain time of the day because of these uh, administrative officers who are so bent backwards uh, in appeasing the vips and politicians mm. they push these priests to violate these timings and uh, they 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 push these priests to perform these pujas at different times than that are mentioned in the shastras for example there is a thing called shatkal archana that means you are supposed to perform the archana at six times in a certain period of the day or they you know they they ask these priests to move that timing here and there there is a, a, another puja that is supposed to be performed between 11:30 in the afternoon uh, uh, and 12 o'clock is supposed to be performed in that in that time time slot but they ask these uh, the priests to perform these pujas at 8 to 10 uh, okay. based on the times push these people to finish them as soon as possible not even chant mantras properly and you know perform the havis you know and all that as 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 prescribed by the shastras they don't let them do it So so it's more like a corporate culture yeah it's it's a very corporate and they, they want like a hindu sanatana or yeah. agama shastra follow yeah they they're violating this they're pushing it all the time all the time cutting the corners and they they ex- it's like you are pushed to your limit and uh, you know the, as a priest the, your main job is to do all this to the deity you are asked to violate the very basic uh, duties that you are supposed to perform mm-hmm. and another thing is the normally the chief priests or any other priests uh, the main priests in in the lineage what they used to do is they used to take the male kids in their family mm-hmm. into the sanctum they they used to give them the f- uh, familiarization course kind of thing about the temple about the deity and the temple premises that's how the that's how the ramana dikshitlu learned that uh, there was supposed to be a treasure in the uh, in the in under the kitchen okay uh, that's where he got the information from his ancestors that, and when he saw the excavations in the temple he became very suspicious that was the main complaint right yes, which came on republic tv like yes, two weeks that, back that the main priest actually i mean the he, yes, he, he's no more the main priest yes he's now retired probably yes. no it's it's technically he, you know the as per ttd they asked him to re- retire but it's illegal but as, he was complaining about the uh, jewelry theft or yes. no, not the jewelry i think also jewelry yes you know what and excavations in the kitchen area yes. which what's is funny not is what's what's it's hard to believe is uh, um, they, they in one part of the report it says one of the diamond was broken because somebody threw a coin at it a gold coin and the diamond broke and then later some people said uh, oh, there is no diamond Okay. Oh some people said uh, uh there, there is there was never a diamond but it was a stone a lot of other uh, sources they confirm that there is there is uh, there is a diamond there's supposed to be a pink diamond you know there is all sorts of statements um uh, the, it seems the, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is saying there is contradicting statement from here and there but it seems all the press and everybody who you know all these people they want to suppress the voice of uh, mr ramana dikshitlu and uh, you know at, at any cost and that's why they they're going against him and they're trying to assassinate his character uh, going back to the point so the male male kids were allowed inside the sanctum 
so that they could uh, familiarize these uh, male kids when they grow up and uh, when they have the opportunity they could become the priests and they have all the knowledge and skill that is necessary to perform their job the uh, new temple administration since uh, 10 10 to 20 years they stopped allowing anybody from the priest families uh, to go to go inside the sanctum or uh, uh, and they they passed so many resolutions uh, uh, restricting these people from going into the sanctum thereby these people are making sure that there is no knowledge transfer, the practical knowledge transfer to the new generation. So when the new priest is ready, he actually doesn't know inside what happens inside the temple. So this is the uh, new trend that is going to happen. So it's more like a job. You apply for a yeah, job, you it. take up a position. You inherit a job and so you're going there and not you're learning from Not following any Agama there is no lineage happening. It's they like think a it's a government position. And of course, TTD is... Uh, it's like a break. They, they select everyone. Exactly. Right? It's like CEO a break. You know, this is exactly how the British uh, ruled India. They made sure that there was no knowledge or skill transfer from one generation to the second generation. The new guys who are coming, they don't know a lot of stuff. So it's, and it's easy to manipulate the new generation because they don't know the uh, what happened before. There is a big discontinuation and it's easy to manipulate the new guy. So why do you think Andhra Pradesh government is doing this? And also I heard about uh, new reporters being hired by the government. You, you guys can see the uh, government order. This was, uh, there was a government order issued by the Andhra government in 2016. Mm -hmm. um, their justification was to do a good uh, propaganda about the government policies and their schemes. But in reality, uh, w these people are getting paid from the public pocket. At exactly. the expense of the public, they are hired at the expense of public mm -hmm. to work for the government. And uh, when these people are getting paid by the government, uh, they are obviously, uh, they might be biased. Of course. They, yeah. have, they, might be, uh, they might be having their own biases. Sensing all this, Raman Dikshitlu traveled all the way to Chennai and he opened up in front of Tamil media rather than Telugu media. Clearly Telugu media did not like that. And also the general complaint from the Telugu crowd is that Telugu media is so biased and they, they lean towards one of the political parties. Absolutely. And they, most of their um, news reporting is very biased. Yes. I think it's very common in most of the states. You but I heard it. a lot from Telugu you can people see, You can this. see it. You know, since uh, the Telugu Desam party is with the NDA, the media discussion about the BJP was different. The day he divorced from NDA, <laughs> it's like a switch on and off. You know, the next day onwards, the media changed totally, completely, 180 degrees. And it's it's like, you know, you can see it. Till till yesterday, there is something. Till today, it's totally changed. There, there it's, it's like anybody who's watching a TV on a regular basis, he will notice in no time. Till 1997, the Archakas, you know, the, you know, the Archakas never get salaries. You know, they they were, they only get sambhavanas, mm. and uh, their daily. I didn't know that. Their daily sambhavana is, you know, in 1997, it was 50 rupees per day. One five or five zero. Five zero. What is my main concern is none of the media or the administration or the key people in the political spectrum are demanding a CBI inquiry. Are they, they are not uh, focusing on bringing out the truth. None of them are demanding a, a, a financial audit uh, or an audit on the jewelry. They are all saying that, oh, we're going to we're gonna put jewelry in, in the public domain. People can come and see it. And the next thing they say, oh, it's against the Agam Shastra. Uh, or the next thing they say, oh, we're going to display only until 1952. Uh, and we don't know what happened before. Uh, and some people say there is no diamond and some people say there is a diamond and some some politicians will come and say uh, Sri Krishna Devaraya never donated any money or any jewelry to the temple. Actually, he, uh, did. he did actually, you know, um, there is there is all sorts of news uh, 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 bulletins from uh, news news statements uh, from Sri Krishna Devaraya's lineage. And there is news uh, uh, articles about uh, what exactly Sri Krishna Devaraya or Cholas or Pallavas or any other king or Mysore king. There are specific items they donated at specific time. There is a record of it. And uh, it seems uh, somebody manipulated or tampered with the record. Uh, till 1996, most of these jewelry were with uh, with some of the priests. And there was every year there was a regular audit uh, what was happening. And every each one of them uh, was accounted to. Um, the Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanam has actually started in 1933. And since then... That it, was from TTD Act. Yeah, TTD Act. And since then, the uh, temple was in TTD administration. Since 1987, uh, things became worse. Justice Chala Kondaya commissioned and he gave a report and based on that, a lot of things were changed. And uh, since then, you know, things became worse. And uh, we could say that is the beginning of the decline. And in between uh, also, they had like so many changes. With there was corruption. Yeah, there was corruption. At, so uh, there, many other stuff. Yes, there was corruption at, at, at every level. But 
but it is clearly against the constitution right because uh, uh, what is uh, a secular government uh, has to do with religious yeah, affairs with the religious affair and also component. you know about article 25 26 it clearly says that yes absolutely you know the government you know they need not interfere absolutely right? but the the the, the recent uh, i think we can just read out article 26 sure uh, but I, i just want to quickly yeah, highlight uh, the yeah. chidambaram temple versus uh, dr subramanian yeah, yeah, swami yeah, yeah. case supreme court categorically said they you know uh, Uh, that the uh, secular government uh, has no say uh, when it comes to a uh, religious institution yeah so and also if i remember properly they said um, you know until the problem is solved yeah i mean when until Sup- the mismanagement subramanian is swami has argued that you know maybe if there is a if the government thinks that there is a mismanagement in the temple funds but government can temporarily take over like 3 uh, years or 4 exactly. years and once they make sure that everything you know going as per the rhythm then they have to give it back to the uh, the, the the religious uh, authorities well, what do you think the solution is you you want you the want solution is the one ttd to be completely independent of government yes, any, absolutely. i mean because even in other states we have muzrai act yes which is in most see, south, south states look, we have a state act muzrai yeah look act. at the look at the present ttd administration right it's 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 totally political it's totally political you know the the dharmic mandali should be headed by dharmic people who have good intention who are healthy uh, thinking who has the healthy thinking about the uh, hinduism or who are Uh, uh practicing hindus and and they could be retired ias officers or ips officers you know who knows the law or if not maybe they could uh, make sure they could give it back to the, you know chinaji uh, people like you know swamis like chinaji or swami uh, who are really into uh, into the dharmic uh, seva you know but rather than that uh, if you look at the present ttd uh, board all of them are politicians because most people who donate money is because of tirupati timappa yeah. they are not donating money for andhra pradesh government no but the government is taking yeah. the money because of the muzrai act which the state would have yes. formed in andhra pradesh Absolutely. same thing in karnataka too we have a lot of temples each temple is divided into section a b and c category yeah. and if c category is about 25 lakhs per annum yes. it's, it's not even accounted they we don't know where the money is going yes. and also you mentioned about this temple i don't i don't know just out of the bloom i'm, I'm thinking of article 49 it just came into my mind so article 49 says protection of monuments and places and objects of national importance yes because tirupati timappa temple or any other old temples which is in karnataka or andhra pradesh or anywhere which is like really old yes, absolutely you can see it here um, more proofs yeah <laughs> there's a, there's a uh, there was a letter from archaeological survey of india Uh, written to tirumala uh, tirupati devasthanam that they wanted to come and visit the uh, temple and they wanted to es- do an estimate estimation or uh, check the temple monument uh, whether they could take it into their fold or not uh, and then once the letter appeared there was a huge outcry in the media and they were all saying that the, the the central government wants to take over the uh, ttd wanted to provoke people to go against the center if any monument gets taken over by the uh, asi it's only the monument that goes under the asi the temple administration can still be under the state administration the, 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 the state will have still the power the state can enjoy their benefits but the only problem the, uh, the state, state will have is they can't make alterations or they can't damage that temple structure but you know there was a lot of misinformation and wrong information fed into the people and then within no time there was another letter from asi saying oh, oh we we're not coming we're going to cancel we're canceling the previous letter you can see that letter here too and it's 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 very strange the telugu media is clearly have a bias against the temple because it seems they don't want the temple to be protected or they don't want no probably they're funded you know <laughs> uh, you know maybe that the that, <laughs> that jeevo the jeevo most, most mainstream media yeah that jeevo speaks uh, for itself maybe you can see the jeevo here too a copy of it nobody wants to nobody wants to demand a cbi inquiry nobody wants a uh, cog uh, you know uh, uh, audit of the temple funds everything is kept secret and, and anybody who's de- who demands against the cbi inquiry or a proper a, a sitting judge inquiry his voice will be played down ಮೋಹನ್ ಅವರು ಇಷ್ಟೊತ್ತವರೆಗೂ ತಿರುಪತಿ ತಿರುಮಲ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ತರ ಅವ್ಯವಹಾರಗಳು ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಮತ್ತೆ ನನ್ಗೆ ಈ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ನಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬಾ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್
ಆ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಬರೋ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ಗಳು ಹಂಗೆ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಏನು ರಿಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ತರಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೋ ಅನ್ಸಲ್ವೋ ಏನಕ್ಕೋ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ನೀವು ಏನೇ ದುಡ್ಡು ಹಾಕಿದ್ರು ನೀವು ಆ ದೇವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅಂತ ನೀವು ದುಡ್ಡು ಹಾಕೋದು ಅದನ್ನ ನೀವು ತಗೊಂಡೋಗಿ ಬೇರೆ ಕಡೆ ಯೂಟಿಲೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದು ಏನು ನುಂಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರೋ ಯೂಟಿಲೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಆ ದುಡ್ಡು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಖರ್ಚ್ ಖರ್ಚಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ನಿಮ್ಮ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕೋಬೇಕು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೂ ನಮಗೆ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಸಿಗಲ್ಲ ತಿರುಪತಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕಾಬಡೆ ದೊಡ್ಡ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಸಾವಿರ ಜನ ಒಂದೇ ದಿವಸದಲ್ಲಿ ದರ್ಶನ ತಗೊತಾರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಡೊನೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಕ್ರೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮನಿ ಅದು ಅದೇ ತರ ಬೇರೆ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನಗಳು ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೈಸೂರು ಪ್ರಾಂತ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕಾಪಡೆ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನಗಳಿದೆ ಅಥವಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಇಡೀ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆನೂ ತುಂಬಾ ತುಂಬಾ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನಗಳಿದೆ ಈ ದುಡ್ಡೆಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ರಿಲಿಜಿಯಸ್ ಅಫೇರ್ಸ್ ಅದೊಂದು ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ರೆಫರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಬಹುದು ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಯಾರು ಹಕ್ಕು ಕೊಟ್ಟವರು ತಗೊಂಬಂದಿಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಲಿಜಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ನ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಇವ್ ಇವ್ರೇನ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಧರ್ಮ ಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಚೋರ ಪ್ರಚೋದಕರಾಗಿರೋ ಅಥವಾ ನನ್ಗೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಟರ್ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಗ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಸೆಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಅವಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲಾರು ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಇದನ್ನ ನೀವು ಈ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ನೀವ್ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಡಿ ಹೇಳಿ ತಗೋಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ You can file the RTI, but I'm sure uh, uh, you, may get, you may not get the, the required information. That's the common man. You don't have to get the information. Yes, absolutely. If you want to like, share, subscribe, subscribe, and share, you don't have to get the information. 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 So, you don't have to get the information.